Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nikki with Montana Crochet Creations. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be making this really cute um, crochet dog sweater or a crochet uh, dog poncho, I guess, is more of a description for it. We, um, I made this for our corgi. Obviously, it's still a little rainy, or it's not even rainy. It's actually still snowing off and on here, but it's not quite warm enough for a full-blown, or quite cold enough for a full-blown sweater. So, I thought that this poncho would be a nice little addition for him for whenever he goes out and if it's still snowing and stuff. And plus, it kind of keeps him a little more dry. So, what you're going to need for this project is I just used a nice number four worsted weight yarn in like this dark green color and then I used an accent color which is this lime green it's also a number four worsted weight yarn you're going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook or an I9 you will need two stitch markers um, if you don't have stitch markers you can also use just a scrap piece of yarn you're going to need a yarn needle for weaving in your yarn tails and you're going to need a pair of craft scissors for clipping all those yarn ends as well and clipping the fringe, trying to get it as close as possible in length. So go ahead and grab all of your supplies and we'll get started on this crochet dog sweater here in just a few minutes. Let's get started on this crochet dog poncho. So we're going to start with our slip stitch here. And then we're going to chain 52. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, and fifty-two. So we're going to come all the way over here to the end, making sure we don't twist, and we're going to slip stitch to that very first chain. All right, so we slip stitch to that very first chain here. And now what we're going to do for round one is we're going to chain three. And this chain three is going to count as our first double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet in each chain all the way around. At the end of round two, you should still, or actually round one, you should still have 52 double crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way around and I'll meet you back here in a few minutes when we are done with round one. So we're done with round one. So what we're going to do next is chain three. This right here is going to count as our first back post double crochet. The next thing we're going to do is a front post double crochet. So we're yarning over our hook and going behind this stitch right here. And then we are drawing up our loop and we still have our three loops on our hook. We're gonna draw through two loops and draw through two loops again. So we just created our front post double crochet. So now to do our back post double crochet in this next stitch, we're yarning over and we're coming from behind our project right here. And we're going over the top of that stitch. So if you turn it here and you look, you can see that this stitch from behind is laying over the top of our crochet hook. We're going to draw up our loop. We've got our three loops on our hook. We yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we have our back post double crochet. The next stitch is our front post double crochet, just like that. And then the next stitch, we're going to do a back post double crochet. We're going to do a front post double crochet around this next stitch here. So remember that's going from the front and behind the stitch. So your stitch was sitting on top of your hook and then now we're gonna do a back post for the next one and we go from behind our project and over the top of our hook. So now our stitch, our hook lays on top of that stitch. We're going to drop our loop and then pull through all three of those. And we're going to repeat this all the way around, continuing with our front post and back post double crochet. We are going to do this until we are done with round six. So continue working that until you're done with round six, and then I'll meet you back in a few minutes and we'll start on round six. All right, I'm done with round six. 
And this is what the neck looks like so far. You can see with those front post and back post double crochets, it gives it a nice little stretch to it. Um, and like I said in the beginning, this is for medium sized dogs. So I'm making this for our Corgi. Uh, his name is Pickle. So my daughter came up with the idea of making it look like a pickle. So that's why I'm going to use the two different colors of green. Um, so what we're going to do for round seven is I've chained one and now we're going to single crochet in this chain one space right here. And then we're going to single crochet in this next stitch. Then we're going to place two single crochet in this next stitch. So we're basically making this round, we're starting our increase round. So now we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochet in this next stitch right here. So we're gonna start making this bigger around and it's gonna start working down toward like the middle of the neck slash like chest area. So go ahead and place your one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochet in the next stitch. And I'll meet you back here in a few minutes and we'll start on round eight. All right, so I'm at the end of round seven and I'm going to change to my green yarn here. So now we're gonna change colors, start working in that second color. Or if you're not gonna work in a second color, you can just continue right here with the same. And I'm going to chain three. And this chain three is going to count as your first double crochet. So now we're gonna go into this next stitch right here. But what I like to do first, I'm going to crochet over these yarn tails, but I'm going to tie a little tiny knot in there. So that way it's a, a little more secure. So now we are going to double crochet in this next stitch right here, working over these yarn tails. Just makes it easier. There's not quite as many things to weave in at the very end when you're done with this uh, crochet dog poncho. So we're just going to place a double crochet in every single stitch all the way around until we get back over here to the beginning of round eight. So when we get to the beginning of round eight, we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three, and then we are going to chain three again. All right, so I'm done with round eight. So for rounds nine through 12, we're going to continue working a double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. So go ahead and do that, and then I'll meet you back here in a few minutes when you are done with round 12, and then we'll go from there. We'll start working on the portion that's uh, going to hold all the little fringe for this dog poncho. Okay, so I finished round 12, and what I did is I fastened off my yarn, and then I went ahead and wove in my yarn tails in the back right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create this front panel right here that's going to have these little loops in it that's going to allow us to create areas to attach our fringe. So we're going to take right here where we fastened off, where our last chain three was, we slip stitched to that very first one, and we're going to count back 15 stitches to the right over here and then we're going to place a stitch marker <clears throat> so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen is where you put that stitch marker then we're going to come back over here and we're where we fastened off again remember and we're going to count 15 stitches to the left so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen we're placing another stitch marker. So now we're going to take our green yarn and I'm gonna stick with this color for the entire body. And then when it comes time to do the fringe, I'm gonna use this light green color right here. So we're gonna take that and we're going to take our hook and we're just going to attach our green yarn over here at this very first stitch marker. So we're just gonna attach that. Just like that right there, oops. And then uh, make sure you leave that stitch marker in there because you need to know where your beginning stitches are at. So let's go ahead and we're going to chain three. So there's, actually we're going to chain four. So this is gonna count as our first double crochet and our chain one. 
So, and I've got my tail here. This will have to be woven in at the end. So we've got our first double crochet plus our chain one stitch. We're skipping this stitch and we're going into the next stitch and we are placing a double crochet. So double crochet. Now we're going to chain one and then we're going to skip this stitch and double crochet plus chain one in the very next stitch. Chain one. And we're just going to continue that across. So we're going to skip this one and double crochet plus chain one in the next. And we're going to do that all the way to the end over here. So continue working your double crochet plus your chain one till you come to the other stitch marker right here and then I'll meet you back and we'll get started and we'll work our way around the rest of this um, crochet dog right, sweater. So I'm at my very last stitch right here and that's where my last stitch marker was. And we're not going to do a chain one at this stitch and this is why we're going to leave our stitch marker. We're gonna go into the next stitch and we're just gonna create a double crochet. And now we are going to double crochet in every stitch until we get back over here at this first chain four plus, or the chain four. And we're gonna um, come around and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three, not the chain four, because we wanna leave that um, chain one that was there. So let's get all the way around. I'll meet you back when we get to this chain four and then we'll just go from there. All right, so I've made my way all the way back around. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So one, two, three, right here. And that's still leaving this extra stitch right there that's gonna count as your chain one. Now we are going to chain one and we're no longer gonna be working in rounds anymore. Now we're gonna start working on rows. So we're going to um, chain one and then we're just going to start working, let me get this out of the way here, from this side right here to this side right here. So basically from stitch marker to stitch marker all along the back. So we are going to come over here and actually we're gonna chain three because we're gonna continue with our double crochet and we're going to go into our next stitch and place a double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet in each stitch until we get to the other side of the stitch marker and then at that point, we're going to chain three and then turn our work. And then we're going to continue working back and forth. So go ahead and finish this row and I'll meet you back here in just a few minutes and we'll continue working on the body portion that's gonna go down the back of the dog for this crochet right, dog. So spread. I just finished row one and from point A to point B, I had a total of 36 double crochet. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to chain three and then we're going to turn our work and we're going to work back and forth um, on the back portion here. And we are going to do that for a total of the next, so basically from row two to row 23. So we're just going to go chain three, we're gonna go into this next stitch and place our double crochet and we're gonna double crochet across the top here. And then when we get to our last stitch on the side over here, we're going to um, chain three and turn our work and we're going to repeat this for a total of 23 rows. So for row two, which is what we're working on now, through row 23. Once you're at the end of row 23, I'll meet you back and then we'll get started on the very last row for this um, crochet dog poncho. So I'm done with row 23. And so what we're going to do is we're going to chain four, three and four. And we're gonna turn our work. So now all the way across this portion right here, we are going to do our double crochet chain one. So remember when we did that, part over by the chest, the chain three was your double crochet and then your fourth chain is your chain one. So let me zoom in really quick here. And now what we're going to do is we are going to skip this stitch right here and then we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're skipping a stitch 
and placing a double crochet plus a chain one in the next stitch. And we're skipping a stitch and placing a double crochet and a chain one. And we're gonna do that all the way down here to the very end. The very end, we're going to put our double crochet in the top of this chain three, and then we're going to go ahead and fasten off our work and then weave in our yarn tails. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here in a few minutes and then I'll show you how we're going to do the fringe. All right, so this is our crochet dog sweater or crochet poncho, whatever you wanna call it, so far. So what we're going to do next is we're gonna work on making the little fringe here that's going to attach to these holes here. And then they're going to attach, if you see everywhere that we have a chain three all along the sides right here, um, we're going to attach into those as well. So we're gonna do three strands of yarn in each hole. So I'm gonna take probably about 10 inches of yarn that's going to be a little too much but then we're going to want to have extra so then that way we can take and um trim them towards at the very end so then that way they um, look nice and neat so we're going to do three strands and you can go ahead and cut all of your strands that you need um and have them done in advance or you can just kind of clip them as you go i think i'm going to clip as i go so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my